welcome back guys so we are back with a new video here so in earlier video you have learned how we can create a database table okay and this database table booking database table we have created in previous video okay and i have explained how we can use the data declaration okay so the and how we can create the local class and within a local class how we can use the data declaration part like for integer for character and uh, this was the method so if you remember how we can do the uh, do the calculation and how we can display the calculation okay so these things we have learned in the previous video so today we'll learn how we can insert the record in the database table okay and so today we'll try to enter the data in our custom booking demo table okay so stay tuned on the same video so to insert the so here we want to insert the data in this table okay so to achieve the same, we have to open our class, which we have already created. Okay, so this was the class CL demo above basic. And within this class, we have a method. Main method is there. Okay, so within this method, we have to write the code. Okay, to insert uh, records in our booking table okay so how we can do the same i'll tell you quickly so first thing important thing is first we have to define the data declaration okay for internal table okay so we have a several types of internal table available in map app okay so i'll tell you everything uh, i mean uh, we have a several types of internal table so i'll prepare a separate video for the same okay so as of now we are we are declaring a local internal table okay which is having a type uh which table we have declared y book y book mm -hmm. y booking demo okay so here we have declared and if you want to place a comment then you can use shift control and arrow uh, button okay so we have declared the internal table internal table to store data at runtime Okay, then within this table, we have to insert the record. Okay, so I'll use a statement to insert the record value hash. Okay, this is the statement. Using this statement, we can insert the values in our table. So First, we have to identify the column. I mean, for which column you have to insert the record. So first uh, column is uh, booking ID. So we have to insert the booking ID. Booking ID, okay. So, Booking ID would be let's say uh, one, then second 
would be uh, you can see here second would be customer so customer you can put uh, demo one then after customer i want to insert the passengers control space you can see uh, passengers Let's say we have total number of passengers, like five passengers we have. Then after passengers, I have to insert email. Okay. Email, you can put any email, ABC at the rate gmail.com then after email uh, what is the next column yeah it's country country would be india after that i have to insert the booking date and travel date okay booking date travel date booking date would be uh, booking date would be we have to insert the date Okay, so there is a system variable, predefined system variable, I mean predefined system methods uh, is there, which is provided by SAP. So I'll use the same. So this is the class, existing class, I'm in a standard class. Okay, so here we have a method called get system date. Okay, so this will return the date, current system date. Okay, after this, I just need a travel date. So in travel date also, I am putting the same. And in this, I am adding plus one. Then after, Entering travel date, I just need to enter the fee. Fee would be um, yeah, let's say I'll put fee uh, four to five point eight. Let's say four to five four. This would be a fee, I mean cost, you can say in your term. Then after putting a fee, I just need a, a currency. Okay, currency. So this is the field currency. Currency would be, you can say INR. And what is the next field? Uh, last change so okay last change and last change it will capture the I mean 
on the date and time okay so to get the date and time we have a function predefined function get timestamp field okay and data we are using to store the current timestamp data within this variable okay i'll be time so i'll pass the same so this will capture the exact date and time while entering the record in the database okay so one record we have created okay similarly we'll create another record Okay, so similarly, we can create the another record. So how we can insert the another record. So I'll show you. use the same and copy I mean copy and paste this get system date is unknown why it is saying get system date is unknown So like this, put the system date. <clears throat> then Here also, I just need to put parenthesis. And that's it. Okay, then we have to use uh, so this is this healthy book in within this healthy underscore book we are storing the data at runtime okay so internal table lt book to hold data at runtime
Multiple internal table. is used to prepare and hold data at runtime. Then after this, I'll use a delete statement. So I'll tell you why we have to use delete statement. So delete statement we'll use delete from and put the table name, whatever table we have created. So we have created Y book score demo. So is used to delete data from database okay after deleting uh, this statement is you delete statement is used basically to delete the data from the database uh, de delete uh, date uh, i mean delete older data from the database after deleting the older data, we'll insert the new record. So to insert new record, we will use insert statement. So insert, put the table name, whatever table you are using. So I'm using Y booking demo. Okay, from table, here table would be internal table, whatever internal table you are using. So we prepared internal table alt underscore book to hold the data at the runtime so i'll use the same so this is the main use of internal table to hold the data at the runtime so after deleting we are inserting inserting fresh data into database table okay so do pretty printer using shift f1 so that code should align automatically then after inserting we just need to populate the output so how we can populate the output i'll use a select a statement select a statement from table same table i mean booking demo whatever in records uh, record inserted we have to show in the output okay so that's why i'm using a select a statement okay so select asterisk from put the table name and into table and table would be our internal table because we have to hold the data at runtime so i'll use the same okay so this select statement i'm using to fetch fetch the new records and hold into internal table okay then i just need to display the record whatever record we have inserted so i just need to display an output so how we can show so there is a there is a method called out and there is a method called right okay and within the right we have a, a we have a 
parameter sporting and we have a field data and within data we have to pass the internal table so in this internal table we have a data so using this we can write Uh, we can write the data and display the data in the output. Okay. So this is statement. Mm. This is used to display the inserted records in the table as output so that's it now we have successfully written the piece of code to insert the data in our database table okay so for time being, I'm commenting this piece of code. So you can use comment, uh, control, shift, and less than button. And if you want to uncomment, then you can use control space greater than so for time being i am commenting the same because i have to execute this piece of code so just activate the same using control f3 okay now i'll execute this using uh, f9 or f9 or you can directly execute it from here as an ab application console so now I am executing from here. And now I think uh, we are in the debugging. So for time being, I am skipping this part. We'll, uh, I'll prepare separate PD for debugging. So don't worry. So I am executing the whole piece of code using F8 so that you can see the output and you can see output is coming uh, just wait I'm removing this and again I'm pressing the F9 and now you can see the output client booking customer passenger 5 and email India and booking date is inserted travel date fee and aina so if you want to cross check the table then you can cross check from here so this is the table we have created uh, this was a table okay so this is the table and you can execute the same to verify uh, to verify that records are inserted successfully or not so I'm in on the table and press F8. Then now, yeah, then now record inserted successfully, two records inserted successfully, booking for um, booking ID one and second for booking ID two. And you can see customer demo one, demo two, passengers and these things. So it means our piece of code is working fine. Okay, so similarly, you can insert your record as per this piece of code okay so if you want to change something like uh, i just want to change the passenger count passenger count instead of five i want 12 and i just want to change the email id as well let's say email id i just want to say xyz Okay, and I just want to change the currency, let's say USD. 
I'm in country, let's say USA, and I just want to change the fee as well. Let's say eight nine, and I just want to change the currency from INR. It should be USD. That's it. And let's say I just want to insert one more record, third record. So you can use the same. You can use the. You can use copy paste the same thing and change the booking ID with third and change the customer with three and change the country like um, Europe and change the currency you are and change the fee as well okay and that's it and activate the same okay now as you can see uh, if i'll execute this table now as you can see we have two records with booking id this this and with customer record okay so after executing this piece of program there must be three record instead of two so i'm executing this program again using f9 so now you can see here again we have three records as of now and you can see number of passengers is this this and this and email id is also replaced and you can see country is also and you can see some previous output is also coming so you can clear the console do the right click and there is an option now now console has been clear and now if you will again this piece of code using f9 then you will see the output flash output okay so this is the way to clear the console okay now we have to verify this at the database level so how we can verify so this is the this is our table right and if I'll and there is an option to refresh refresh the output so yeah so this is the refresh button from here you can refresh the output so if i'll refresh the same then there must be three record instead of two so i'll click on the same then you can see yeah then you can see three records inserted successfully so it means our piece of code working as per the requirement so in today's uh, so in today's video you have learned how we can declare the internal table to store the data okay at runtime and how we can populate the um, the timestamp field okay using this uh, i mean using this stamp field data statement and how we can show how we can prepare the data in an internal table using value hash keyword okay and after this you learned how we can delete the data from database using delete statement then you learned how we can insert the data in the database using internal table and how we can fetch the data from the table and store into the internal table and finally you learned how we can display the data as an output using write method okay and it is having the exporting parameter exporting means we are importing something in this to display so here we have to display the data lt book and it is uh, lt book is storing the data whatever data you are going to insert so this is capturing in this table so we have to pass this table in this write method so it will display as a output in a console okay so that's it in this video hope you will like this video and don't forget to practice the same okay so if you have any doubt then you can message me or you can comment me so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe us okay otherwise you may miss the next content so 
Stay tuned. Bye bye. Thank you and take care. Thank you and take care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.